Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Sonia. This is Kent, our audio expert. And today we're discussing amplifiers. Mm. Nice. Popular topic. And <sighs> everyone wants to know. Everybody, huh? Everybody in the world <gasps> wants to know, can an amplifier blow a speaker? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. There you have it. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so how does that happen? Yeah. Like turning the volume up too much? Yeah. To rip it. Rip it good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, so, yeah. It, it has something to do with uh, turning it up too high. But the, the common uh, thought is that it is the power that kills it. It can be, but most of the time, it is distortion and another one called clipping. Those two are the most common killers of speaker drivers. Okay. And surprisingly enough, something like clipping, here a 100 watt amplifier can kill a 1000 watt woofer. And see, that's oh. what people think that, 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 oh no, I got the 1000 watt woofer. It's completely, you can't kill it. It's like, no, no, you can, can. you can. <laughs> You can kill everything or nearly anything. Sp How does that happen? Okay, yeah. So distortion, basically, I, I don't know. I mean, that's that's just that is that it's losing control and you get like a lot of sharp, uh, uh, what you call peaks and stuff where it loses control, you know, uh, and um, and and. And all those are like damaging to the speaker driver. They're not soft and smooth. They're like jagged and, and square okay. and all this kind of stuff. Okay. And and so that that uh, is just the movement itself that is asking the coils and the in the speaker drivers to do is damaging. So that's one. That's typically a, a a tweeter killer more than anything. Tweeter and mid range killer is distortion. You know. Okay. So if you play it so loud that it's like sounding so horrible in your ears that just like yeah well distortion like it sounds like crap you know yeah. that's bad it doesn't matter if you have a very very powerful set of speakers you can kill with that alone and permanently oh yeah so permanently it's kill permanently kill liquidate yeah. yeah okay and so but clipping is a little bit more complex uh clipping is when you ask the power supply for more than it can give you. So the amplifier is with the little signal is like opening and closing almost like a door to the big power. If that stands fully open before the music and its movement, you know, its curves that it's like giving in here, like it has that sinusly, you know, shape, landscaped analog signal coming in, if that hits the maximum of the power supply's ability before it hits the top, well then there is no more. There is no more to give. Okay. Then it will get flat on the top. Okay. Yeah. So it will hit the DC maximum. And at that point, the speaker driver is moving in its field compared to this field. You know, it's been driven by the field. So that means that every time it hits one of those plateaus, the speaker driver is being held static, like still in that split second, just like, and then on, like it would go up and then it would stand still. But this happens so fast, you know, yeah. this happening, you know, may, you know, hundreds of times a, a second, you know, but, and, and it's just these tiny little movements, you know, but it, 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 it still adds up to a lot. And what happens is that when it's not moving and you're putting current through it, uh -huh. is not getting cooling. So you heat the voice coil of the of the woofer up like a hot plate. And that blows it? Yeah, you cook it. Okay. You cook it simply. That's how you cook a subwoofer. You cook it. You cook it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so let me ask you about this clipping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what does clipping sound like? What Yeah. Okay, so I know yeah. what, what clipping is. It's it's clipping the top of the wave yeah. off of each wave. Yeah. Got it. 
But what does it sound like? Like, is it like on and off or something like? Um, it, it's hard to describe. It's, it's basically not that it's not easy to hear. Most people won't be able to hear it. Does it sound you just flat? have to not. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Um, it just it's just like it's lagging something in the bass all of a sudden. But oh, it's, so it's the bass that, that yeah, clipping affects. The, the most bass. of all, that's where the big okay. power is being pulled. Oh, that's right. The distortion yeah. affects the mid range and, and the tweeter, tweeter the most. Yeah, yeah. most yeah. and. The clipping affects the subwoofer. Yeah, the bass, okay. the bass, yeah, the woofer. So the subwoofer. that can damage the, the subwoofer. Yeah, but yeah, so cook the voice coil simply just heat it up like crazy. So it's just that the the bass doesn't sound clear. It's very hard to hear. I will just my advice is to to never rip the volume to the bottom. That's only like a little crap MP3 player for the kitchen. They can do that. That's a hi-fi system. And a decent s system, you can't pull it to the bottom. You mean pull it to the Yeah, top. like turn it to 10. <laughs> yeah, to okay. turn it to 10. Okay, you unless can't turn it all the way up. No. It's a bad thing. That's never good. I mean, unless you're dealing with a very, very small signal, like a record player, then yes. Well, why does the volume go to 10 if you can't turn it to 10? Well, if you have a small signal, a tiny signal, well, then you... You know, you have the advantage that you can turn it off. Like a, rec a record player has a very small signal, even from the, um, the record player preamplifier. It's called the I. Oh, God. <laughs> I only know the Danish term, but just realized. Ria. Ria? Ria. Ria, guys. Yeah, it's like an R I A A amplifier. It's like, okay. yeah, there's a special amplifier for that. Yes. So, yeah. so yeah, there, there you will need it. But anything with CD and all that, you know, uh, which is a strong signal, typically all the way up to two volts, uh, half half power. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All mm. right. Well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. One more thing. Okay. One more thing. What for you? One she. Well, it's also the distortion <laughs> levels de depend on how the amplifier circuit is made. You know, so I mean, but we'll get into that in another video. But it, the, how far you can turn up also depends on what kind of amplification we're we're dealing with. Okay. So, so use your ears. If it sounds like crap in the tweeter, you're probably about to kill something. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that about does it. We thank you for tuning in and. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.